This is the final practice for Math 142. This is question number six. Uh, we're supposed to solve it. Oh, and our answer should, our solution should be bounded zero to two pi, and we're looking for exact values. All right, so we wanna know what x values would make this statement true. What angles could we plug into here to make this equal zero? Um, so let's get the sine x all alone first thing. So I'm gonna add two root three to both sides. And if I do that, I have this. And then this is um, four multiplied by sine x. So I'm gonna divide both sides by four. And the two divided by four is just a, gives me a two in the denominator. So sine of x equals uh, square root of three over two. So I can either know that or I could take a peek at um, my unit circle and it was uh, what I had was sine of x equals do, 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 uh, root three over two. So sine is height. So where does that happen? That happens here and here. So this would be pi over three and two pi over three. And uh, that's good. I, I feel good about that. Those are my answers. Now, um, just one thing to, to note, if I wasn't confident in my, in my answers, what I might do is check it on my calculator. So um, I'm going to put myself in radians because these are in radians. And remember, my, my original equation was um, 4 times sine of some value. And I'll just plug in pi over 3. minus uh, 2 times the square root of 3. And that should equal 0. And it does. So that's a good sign that that works. I could go back and plug this one in and see if it works as well. And notice that's pretty easy to do. Just insert a 2 here. That's also a 0. So that's, that's good evidence that those work. Um, <laughs> there we go.